Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to give you a walkthrough of our home and I've had a few requests to actually name the rooms that I'm walking you through. So during this walkthrough, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some before videos and photos during the walkthrough, just to give you an idea of how much progress we've made. Starting on our left here, let's see, I just want to show you, we have manufactured I-beam trusses up here, which is pretty awesome. But starting on our left here, this is a large uh, 22 by 26 foot room. And this will just be like the family room, game room area here. Uh, you can see here that the hallways are ridiculously wide. So right now there's no lights on in here. We have installed lights in this room. We're gonna call this room the game room for now. Um, I'll go ahead and turn the lights on just to give you an idea of how well they look. Uh, we also had air conditioning and heating installed along with low voltage in every one of the rooms of our house so that we have hardwired internet and cable and things like that. So here is what it looks like with the lights on. We have not started to really furnish it. We threw a couple things in here just to be able to have them. And we started going through Christmas decorations a week ago. So this is our game room. Uh, super pleased with how well it's turned out. Behind me here, I have something that I'm pretty proud of. We have this bull nose on the wall that is the rounded corners, if you are not familiar with that. And this turned out awesome. So the archways and stuff like that in the house were all super square and didn't look that great. And we went ahead and changed that. Here we have our hallway. I finished the floor throughout the downstairs in this section right before Thanksgiving. I'm going to turn a light on here, install lighting in the hallway as well and give you a nice idea of what it looks like. So in my opinion, this floor is amazing. It holds up and is very durable um, and uh, makes the room just feel nice and clean, which is important to me. The hallways here are over six feet wide, which is pretty exciting. Lots of space for activities. Uh, this will actually be the main bathroom for everybody to use from that open area when we get that done. You see all this black here? That is not mold. That is a can of spray paint that actually exploded um, with the previous owners of the home. Not us, but so this will be the guest bathroom. We're gonna put a, a nice, tub, shower, toilet, and vanity in here. Here we have our um, guest bathroom. A can of paint blew up on the wall uh, before we started drywalling. And uh, vanity will go right there. We have our tub and shower here. I still have not trimmed out this room. And then there you'll have the toilet. So this will be the guest room. This room is much larger than it looks. It is 18 by 15 feet, and it's a bit ridiculous. But this will be our guest room. So if we have any friends or family staying with us, this is your temporary spot. Now we'll move over here. This is our guest bedroom. It also has its own heating and air conditioning. So we went with ductless uh, heating and cooling throughout the entire home. It is the most efficient way to go. So we'll get the most bang for our buck in this Northwest weather. Here is, I call this room our security closet. So we have all of the internet wires, the ethernet, the uh, RG6, and this is Cat6, wired in to this one location. I have a motherboard and stuff coming to where I can tie everything together. Uh, same thing for our ring doorbells and stuff like that, wired in a 30 volt uh, 
doorbell switch to be able to hook all that up. In this room, we also have holiday lights, security lights, um, like the outdoor accent house lighting and um, some stair lighting. And not sure what we'll use the closet for, but I did actually finish out the floor in it as well to make everything match really well. So now I'll go ahead and take you to an area where we relocated some items. I'm gonna walk you through what we have going on here. I'll be pretty simple, but just wanna show you a before. That way you can uh, enjoy our after and during videos as well. So throughout this, I'm going to create multiple videos just to show you what we are doing and some of our plans. And believe it or not, I actually choose most of our designing and our colors and things like that for the home. So you could uh, get an idea of my taste here. So first off, this doorway here we're, will no longer be here. This will be completely closed off here. And then this section will be completely opened up. So this will just flow right into the great room. So there will be the, so that basically that room right there will have this doorway still, and that's gonna be the mud room. The ceilings are vaulted in here. So they're pretty high just in this section. Not sure what this area will be. It'll just be a really big hallway. So we bought this and check this out. Oh my gosh, that is freaking nuts. Yep, all of that has to be done. I just call it the panel room because we have our electrical panel here. And that was crazy when we moved here. Like everything was crazy, but that was over the top. So uh, go ahead and show you what we did here with the ceilings. The ceilings are about 14 feet high. So I'm really excited to put a Christmas tree in this corner, put a 12 foot tree here and it'll be pretty. So I've always wanted to put a nice tree like that in the home. Um, and it's just sort of exciting for us. Uh, this, this safe will not stay in this room. It will be relocated, but it's sort of been my work area. And this was the old uh, washroom. So we had our washer and dryer and water heater all in this room right here. But I relocated all of it into the room behind me. So now we have our water heater uh, with the circulating pump. So we'll have instant hot water everywhere throughout the house. We got our washer, our dryer, and I have a sink that is not hooked up yet, but I have all the plumbing ready for it all. So once I finish the flooring in here, I will go ahead and install those things. So on a super side note, this is the number one most exciting thing for uh, me and the family is this door. On the other side of it, we have about 1200 square feet of living space that we currently live in. There are three bedrooms on the right side as you go down there and there's a large bathroom. We are going to take down all of these walls um, remove, I've already removed the fireplace, um, but we're going to remove everything here. And this is all going to be about 1200 square feet of open space. And this will be our great room. This section of the home was built in 1946. And this section of the home was built, uh, in, uh, early two thousands. So So um, that door will be sealed off. So the only way to access this laundry room will be through this door. So we are going to put a barn door here, which should look pretty great. And then this wall right here is actually going to end up being completely open. So we're gonna open it up to that square, uh, 1200 square foot area on the other side of the house. And we are going to take out three bedrooms and a bathroom on that side and just have one large great room. So it'll be where all of our parties happen, all of our family get togethers and stuff like that. So we plan to be the house that is hosting a lot of the events. So we hope to see a lot of you there. Um, Give you another quick view of this area here before we head upstairs. 
So we'll go ahead and head upstairs. So you can see here that the stairs are not finished. They will be carpeted. Um, I installed some stair lighting, which has a fun story behind it. Uh, attached one of those lights to an extension cord and my wife and I came out here while it was very dark and sort of dry fit the lighting to see where we thought it would work best. And where we thought it worked best required us to build this wall out two inches. So that was a lot of work for some stair lighting. Now we will go up the stairs, have lots of custom plans for the electrical on this. Up the stairs here, we're going to have our nice little safety lights installed. And then we will take a peek down. So another thing is this area right here where you see this gap on the floor, that was previously a wall. So once you came up the stairs, I'm gonna sort of do this and see. So once you came up the stairs, you could only see this window. You had to walk up and around to get to that side. So it would be all blocked off. So we went ahead and removed that wall so that we would have, feel like it's a lot larger open space, but not sure. This wall right here is going to get changed and we're gonna install just a, a sink and toilet for the children. That way they don't have to go downstairs for the bathroom at night. So as we go this way, here we have a bathroom for the children to use in the middle of the night. Originally, we had a door right here in the hallway that led them to the master bathroom off the master bedroom. And I decided to seal that off and take half of the closet for this bedroom and turn it into a bathroom. So we have a toilet and a sink in here. That way the kids don't have to go downstairs to use the bathroom or come through our bedroom to use the bathroom. So next, We'll come over here and so next we have one of the children's bedrooms. Uh, one of the biggest selling points on this was uh, our son really wanted a bunk bed and his old room wasn't large enough for a bunk bed so now he will have room for whatever bunk bed he wants. Uh, and then on top of that, we have low voltage wire running through the walls so that if the online schooling continues, the kids will be able to set desks up in the rooms and actually just be hardwired to the internet so they don't have to rely on a wireless signal to stay in the meetings. Um, he also received a large walk-in closet. This is about five feet by six feet and it's quite nice. A little jealous and then his room itself is about just over 10 feet by 17 feet long so it is a hefty size room for a seven year old so here we're going to move into the next bedroom this bedroom is four square feet different and it is just more square instead of rectangular uh, upstairs, we have a cadet, I'm sorry, not a cadet, but a cassette, a uh, heat pump uh, handler up in the attic, supplying air to all these registers so that every room in the house has heating and cooling. All right, so if you go to the right side, once you get up the stairs, here is the master bedroom. So. Uh, Pretty good. Uh, it has a very, not very small, but it has a standard closet for how big this is. And we're gonna go through here. And here is the master bathroom. We're not 100% sure. You can see all this cardboard on the floor. 
I actually cut out different uh, sizes for the vanity, showers, a soaker tub. Um, not sure what I want to do. Um, even have a little toilet cardboard over there. But here, this is going to be the master bathroom. We are going to close off this doorway here. So this would be one solid wall. We may extend this bathroom uh, toward that bedroom over there. And we'll go over to the master bedroom. So here is the master bedroom. Very nice and spacious. We did some custom modifications for electrical. Uh, we have his and her lights there on the wall and that's where the bed would face out to our backyard here. And then we have this beautiful skylight up here. It's quite large, but I love having lots of light. It makes me feel happy and makes my home feel clean. So really love all the light here. Um, we currently have a vanity in the center of our bedroom. Show you that there. That will be going in our master bathroom. And then we have this amazing soaker tub here. So that is going to be fun to have. Um, and we're on the last part here. So this is our master bathroom. This is almost nine feet wide and about 15 feet long. So we have some huge plans for it. We did extend the bathroom into uh, one of the closets to give more space, but right here to my left, we're going to be installing a soaker tub. And then to my right, we'll have the vanity. That will be the toilet. And then right here on the wall, all this dark gray is going to be a huge walk-in shower. So it is, about three feet deep. We have a head unit there. We have one that'll be installed there. And then we have a rain shower head, uh, followed by a nice wand that'll go on the wall here. But we will have a valve that can allow you to use multiple heads at the same time, or just one or just two of them. So there's gonna be a lot of flexibility, but this here is the only section I do not believe I can finish by Christmas. Um, because it's going to take me a lot of time and I want to make sure I do an excellent job on it. But I will be tiling all of that all the way up to the wall um, so that it can be a fully walk-in shower and not have to worry about anything. And we also have another skylight in this bathroom. So I hope you enjoyed the video and the walkthrough and I hope that you've been enjoying following along. Um, we've been very excited about all of these changes that we just love sharing it. And, um, you know, we have a lot going on to get this much work done in less than 12 weeks has been exhausting <laughs> for one, but it's definitely been worth it. Um, you know, we plan to, you know, just keep growing in this home and, you know, just have so many plans. Uh, on another note, I'm gonna show you out back here. But right out there, in all that brown there, I had 25 ton of just brush and debris removed from the property. And it looked like all of that, but I opened up the backyard a little bit. And went ahead and had a bunch of gravel brought in and we're having a foundation made to put a garage right in the backyard there. So uh, that will be going up in less than two weeks. That was a huge project out there and it worked out well. So hopefully this has been enjoyable for you. Um, we have so many more things that are coming. So please follow along to see some of the improvements we have made and will make. And uh, thank you for your support and have a great day.